Hi, hello and welcome one and all to the new series of videos presented by Zapyard for introduction to RESTful ABAP programming. RESTful ABAP programming is a new offering from SAP on a cloud platform. In order to understand what is ABAP on cloud and RESTful ABAP programming, we shall first take up a topic to discuss on the introduction to cloud computing. Then we shall look into the cloud service providers, the deployment strategies employed and the services that are part of cloud platforms. Specifically focusing on SAP, SAP cloud platform offering comes with a lot of features which are specific to cloud computing. So the entire service provision is made in a platform known as SAP Business Technology Platform. We shall be looking into the architecture and the components of SAP BTP, SAP Business Technology Platform. In the subsequent videos, we will be focusing on how to create a BTP trial account. We'll be taking a virtual tour of SAP Business Technology Platform. We'll also try to look into the Eclipse. Eclipse it will be the setup which is made to accommodate the ABAP on cloud developments. The next topic will be how to create a ABAP cloud platform in the Eclipse environment. We shall also look into the topic of ABAP package, how to organize the packages and what are the different ABAP related views in Eclipse environment. Also, we'll be trying to focus on what are the different features of ABAP on cloud and also advantages, disadvantages and what are the differences between ABAP on premise and ABAP on cloud. The next set of topics that we'll be picking up in this web series will also include the introduction to RESTful ABAP, the objects that shall be created in ABAP cloud platform, how to create a database table in cloud, the class creation in ABAP cloud to insert the records, update and delete, the introduction to CDS, the core data services. So these are the kind of data modeling that shall be used to create the artifacts in ABAP Cloud. We shall also try to look in to the types of CDS that shall be used for ABAP Cloud environment. We will also try to focus on certain commonly used annotations DDL for the database tables. We we'll, shall look into the next topic, which is metadata extension, which is very important in order to take the data models into the business scenario and expose them as O data services. Also, some of the other useful annotations, which shall be part of metadata extension moving on to the even more interesting topics that form the basics of ABAP on cloud development include behavior definition. So the behavior definition introduction, the entities and the entity relationship, which are part of business definitions, characteristics of behavior definition, operations that are part of behavior definition and also the object runtime sequence which are part of behavior definitions will be looked into 
as part of this web series. Also, we'll give you the introduction to behavior pool. Behavior pool will be also shown as a live example and how all the behavior definition definition related entities and the characteristics will be dealt through an example. We'll also try to look into the wrap class to create records using behavior definition and we will try to create OData services which now SAP calls it as service definition and what is this service binding it will also be looked into along with uh, application preview 